welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, vocal coach and session musician and Coldplay extraordinaire fan. I love Coldplay. I should do more Coldplay reactions. Honestly, they are my favourite band of all time. I've seen them live three times. They're the best band live, in my opinion. You know, we all have our own opinions, but I just absolutely adore them. Just such a great band and one that I've grown up holding dear to my heart. So when they released their new single Higher Power recently, I did not wait to listen to it because I have to listen to it. You know, it's my favorite band. I've got to listen to it straight away. So I've heard the song before and I absolutely love, love it, but I want to see it live. So this is their performance of Higher Power at Radio One's Big Weekend 2021. And I'm pretty sure it will be great because they're such a great band live. But I just want to see what they do with it because they're always trying to kind of push themselves in their live situation and incorporate things that make us think like, wow, that's so cool. So I want to see what the vocals like, what the staging's like, what's going on musically, all of that kind of stuff, and see if we enjoy the song just as much in a live situation as we do in a recorded situation. Okay, are you ready to watch with me? Here we go. My favorite band. Oh, and it's daytime. That intro. It just hits differently and the chord changes are gorgeous. Sometimes I just can't take it. Sometimes I just can't take it and it isn't alright. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> and I think my shoes are tied. Okay, so straight away there are so many catchy things within this. The guitar arrangement, the way that the drums kind of come in tight. Oh, so good. Such a, a well-structured song. And then the synth choices and the whoa, and everything like that is so catchy to me. I'm like a broken record. I'm like a broken and there's record. space in the vocal. Good control over his lower vocal. And the layers there, really nice touch. Okay, so there, the backing vocal goes down. Oh, but he goes, oh, and you get that lovely harmony. And then listen to the guitar. That It's this famous Coldplay guitar, basically, that swirls around everything. Uh, I just think it's fantastic. The lighting, the setting of this is amazing. No? Right, there. So we've got the you've got, and then it drops down in the instrumental. So, da, da, boom, the higher power. And then you kind of expect it to do it there as well, but it does not. That's it. The open hi-hat, symbols, building but then it just comes back down. I love the kind of dryness of the come down into the section. Did you hear that? Nice touch. I always think they all just look like they're really enjoying themselves. I love that lyric, I'm so happy I'm alive, alive at the same time as you. That's such a nice lyric. The fireworks, the kind of lasers going up. Yeah, so that's really great because you have the extension of that hook, which is a great hook. Um, but I just keep getting drawn to the. I just love that. I think it provides such a nice harmony to the rest of the arrangement and gives the whole thing a, a lift with intention, if that makes sense. Um, if everything in a song was always 
you know, in a, in a major key song was always just triad chords, the first, third and fifth. God, it would be so boring all the time for us as listeners. And so you have to introduce these sort of seconds and suspended chords and sevenths and ninths and all these interesting, basically chordal arrangements and, and movements so that we as a listener are kind of drawn in like, oh, that's, you know, that's not something I've heard before. Or even if I've heard that chord before, it feels a little different this time. So that's what I think Coldplay do really well. And that, da, 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 it just gives that slight edge to the chord. I love it. So we're down. And you still have the, oh, in the background, which is great. That was great with the hits on the cymbals. Vocal coming up. Here we go. It's euphoric. A higher power. I love this song. Don't know if you can tell. A higher power. this is another great tool that Coldplay use in a lot of their songs where they come into a sort of outro that still feels similar and that just I don't know it's like a euphoric culmination of the whole song so he's had these lower vocals and then suddenly we're up in these you got I mean to me it's still quite low but to him you know it's like woo so as an audience member you're just filled with this mm. and uh oh, I can't wait to see, see this song live in person it has such a good opener as well, like the introduction is so cool that I feel like that's going to be the song that they they either open the whole tour with or they close it with because it's just so good. It's so good. Um, it grabs you. So yeah, let's continue. I love the use of colour in this. Oh, look at the sunset. Perfect. Not that they arranged that. <laughs> And then back down to that beat, kind of, oh, and the breathy vocals, oh, the keys. Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. That was probably leading into another song, but that kind of arrangement and the, the beautiful uh, use of different harmony and chordal movements within the keys as well, just lovely. Oh, I love this band so much. Um, let me tell you some fun facts. I once met Chris Martin on a plane. Not that he would remember, but I will always remember. Funnily enough, after Radio One's big weekend, uh, a few years back, and I had played a show up in Scotland, and I got on my plane to go home, and who walks on? Chris Martin, that's right. Just on a normal flight, love that guy. Sat down a few rows ahead of me and I was like, do you know what, I have to go and I have to be that person. I have to go and say thank you and just kind of thank him for his musical contribution. Um, I wish the rest of the band had been there as well, but it was just Chris at this point. Uh, so I did, I went and interrupted him <laughs> listening to his music and he was so, gracious and kind he shook my hand made sure to repeat my name twice that guy i'm telling you is the nicest guy and he and his band deserve this success because they are just so nice and they really take the time out with their fans i don't know if you guys have, have met them at all but they really do take the time out with their fans to appreciate them and to go out of their way to make them feel special and i think that's a really special thing um you know especially when you're at that level of fame and success by the way let me tell you i have never been so scared in my life in my life and when I got up out of my plane seat to go, um, the whole plane, by the way, was filled with different people, like Rita Ora was there, all of the BBC Radio 1 Big Weekend staff were there. But when I got up out of my seat to go and introduce myself to Chris Martin, uh, the lady who was sat next to me went, oh, 
she's gonna do it and i was like yes i am yes i am we've only got one life so i did um and i have no regrets so yeah that's my little cold play uh well chris martin story but yeah lovely guy and you know they say don't meet your heroes well let me tell you there are exceptions to the rule so i'm glad that he is one of them and one day I hope to meet the rest of the band and maybe even sing with them, who knows? Oh, and one more thing that was really awful was that I really wanted to play Chris some of my music and my phone just ran out of battery so I couldn't plug anything in to show him anything. All I had was a flyer from my gig, so I gave him a flyer. I mean, there's no way that would have ended up with him at home. but. Just saying, Chris Martin or Coldplay, if you're watching this video, then I would very much like to play you my music properly this time. <laughs> so I love that song and I'm super excited for the album to come. Uh, I think it's just going to be really euphoric, my favourite kind of Coldplay. Uh, so let me know what you think. Are you a mega fan like me? <laughs> I think I've made that clear in this video. Let me know in the comments box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can, of course, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find links to all my various services and my own music in the description box down below. And I'll see you again very soon. Love you. Bye.